The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guests today are Myla and Natalie from Scape. Welcome ladies. Thank you. So glad you're nice here. here. And Myla, okay, I'm dying to know what that acronym Scape <laughs> stands for. SCAPE stands for Southern California Artists Painting for the Environment. All right. So tell us about your group and what you do and where you do it. Well, the goal of SCAPE is to have art exhibitions uh, to raise money for nonprofits. And to um, through that, we protect open spaces. And we provide uh, public awareness of the environment and, um, and the conservation issues that are so large here on, uh, in Santa Barbara County. That's amazing. So, so here you are, artists, you're painting, you're mm -hmm. having shows, you're selling the paintings mm -hmm. to raise money for uh, the environment. But, yes. So but, uh, tell me how... How does that work? Um, Natalie will go into <laughs> the um, all the beneficiaries that we scout out. Okay, uh, so you work with a, like a collaboration. You work with other groups and organizations. Well, we work with environmental groups, <clears throat> and Scape was um, born in uh, 2002 by three local plein air plein air artists, Marsha Burt. Uh, Camille Delar and Susan Bellany. And uh, they just thought it would be nice to go out and paint the environment, but at the same time be able to preserve it. And so the way they decided to do that was to have art shows. And so if, if and when an artist sells a painting, uh, that artist gets 50% of the oh, selling price. 40% okay. going to the beneficiary, which is an environmental group, and 10% escape to, uh, for show expenses. So how do you decide on the environmental group that you're going to work with? Are there a lot of them that you work with? Or? There are a lot. Um, we like to work with those that um, are connected in the area who have um, mailing lists and, and people that they can um, encouraged to come to our shows to support it. Uh, there are just a lot of different groups uh, that we've s supported in the past. Um, and do you have for one? You have <clears throat> sorry, you have some sort of a, a kind of requirement or a strong suggestion about the the subject matter that people are painting. Like it, it's supposed to be of the environment or or the coast or. Well, it, it depends on the, the show that we're doing. Oh, oh, um, oh. We, For instance, our next show is um, at the Bacara, the uh, Ritz-Carlton Bacara in Santa Barbara. And it's our seventh annual show, and it's to benefit uh, the Gaviota Coast Conservancy. Okay. So we encourage artists now to go out and paint in that area, which is from point, uh, up to Point South from Campus Point. And um, so that'll give them an idea of, of what we're looking for. Okay, so the Gaviota Coast Conservancy is a good example of mm -hmm. one of the environmental groups sure. that you work with. Mm -hmm. That's just an amazing partnership that you, mm -hmm. you know, just the whole model that you mm -hmm. put together. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, the importance of SCAPE and also some of our goals is um, outreach to the community to come join and be a part of us, oh. uh, regardless of any or no art experience at all. 
Oh. Um, we are big on camaraderie mm -hmm. and our education. Um, we bring artists from um, all over who are well regarded uh, both nationally and locally to come teach workshops for SCAPE. Oh, really? Uh, our upcoming workshop is with Amy Erickson, and she is backed by popular demand. Her workshop this last year was so popular that um, she came out again, and her workshop filled up within an hour. Gosh. Uh, also, um, Scape has paint outs. Uh, paint out. Natalie was mentioning. Paint outs mm -hmm. are open for everyone. And like Natalie was saying, uh, for instance, uh, for the Gaviota Coast Conservancy, we might show up at Naples one day, mm -hmm. paint that area, um, which is uh, just below the Bacara. Uh, we'll go to El Cap Canyon Beach, we'll go to Refugio, all the way up to Halama, and uh, anyone can join us, um, regardless of experience. Bring your paints, bring your crayons, bring your your marking pens and Gosh. there's tons of artists out to help you on your way if you have no experience or just come out and enjoy nature with us. That sounds like fun. So even if you've never done it before, mm -hmm. you could bring all your stuff and somebody could show you how. Mm -hmm. Or you could just go out and enjoy the day. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Or you could say, gosh, I've always wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm a pretty good artist. I'm going to go try my hand. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That sounds yes. like fun. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. We have another show coming up in July. It's July 24th and 25th at the Maritime Museum, okay. Santa Barbara Maritime uh -huh. Museum. And uh, of course, that'll be water, as that's the theme. And oh, right. that's open to um, everyone, too, who joins SCAPE to be in the show. And so then the funds that you raise from that show. Mm -hmm. will go to the Maritime Museum? That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So do you usually have two shows a year? Two or three. Two or three. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so tell me again about the one that's coming up that's going to be at the Bacara. Uh, well, uh, it's probably our biggest show of the year, and it's very well supported by uh, the community. And uh, it's a free event. Uh, you don't have to pay to go to the Bacara, and it's... It's kind of a fun thing. Not many, you know, some people have never been to the Bacara. And yeah. it's fun to check it out. Plus, we have music, and it's open for two days. Oh, and wow. And then there will also be a film of the Gaviota Coast huh. that will be shown on Saturday. And what's the date of that? Um, it starts on the 19th. It's the 19th and 20th. It's Easter weekend, actually. Okay. April. So, of April. Mm -hmm. April 19th oh, and 20th. Oh, I'm sorry. April, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, there's a great uh, silent auction. Uh, there are all sorts of great companies um, and business owners that donate their services and their time. Um, and that is a lot of fun. There's a lot of great items. So you must have quite a crew out there soliciting all those items and getting the show all organized. And that takes a lot of work. Scape does. Uh, we have the most amazing hanging crew, and these are all experienced artists. They have a great eye for how all the, the paintings are hung. Um, we have incredible jurors that come in with a, a keen eye for, you know, is this painting part of the Gaviota Coast, and does it um, meet a certain criteria? Okay, okay. Um, but the paintings that are, are hung are just absolutely incredible. And everyone is welcome to uh, enter paintings. People can come and purchase them. That's right. As yes. well as just enjoy them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. And it's uh, very generous of the um, Ritz-Carlton Bacara to uh, let us use their hotel for a venue. Well, that's great. Yes. So they don't charge an arm and no, a leg. They, you just get to, that's no. great. They want to support us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll bet you might have some stories of artists or would-be artists that you've come across over the years. Uh, 
um, when how I heard about Scape, um, I was down painting mm -hmm. at Shoreline Park, and there was a group of women who stopped cold and said, "Hey." That's not bad. Are you a member of Scape? Do you want to come paint with us? Do you know about our shows? Oh my gosh. And this happened to be Bonnie Freeman, who uh -huh. really works so hard for Scape. She's not an artist, but she's a, uh, a she's collector. Uh, she is definitely an art collector, but uh, quite the supporter and enthusiast for Scape. And she is our uh, beneficiary coordinator right now. So she's been out. Um, talking to more people and possibly creating more shows for us. That, oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. S more shows. Mm -hmm. So if someone is interested in art, interested in even learning how to do this or the sort of art, or, or environment. interested in the environment, yes. preserving the environment, mm -hmm. then they would be welcome Absolutely. to your group. And they could go on your website mm -hmm. and find out more about you and mm -hmm. how to join and mm -hmm. and they could if they forgot what the dates of the shows are they can go find out on your mm -hmm. website absolutely you got one in April and you got one in July yes and you'd love to have another one if somebody comes up with a great idea for where to have it maybe in the fall yeah mm -hmm. well this sounds good we're always looking for environmental uh, nonprofit beneficiaries oh that's another important piece mm -hmm. Environmental nonprofit beneficiaries. Yes. So nonprofits that are doing something to preserve the environment. That we yes. can help. Yeah. It's very important. We don't realize as painters how important our work is. I was in Sullivan and Goss, and uh -huh. there is a hundred plus year old rendering of the coastline in Santa Barbara dumped by Lockwood De Forest. Oh. That is a snapshot of time, uh, a piece of history, if you will. And we are out capturing what the environment looks like right now. And in 100 years' time, somebody's Gosh. going to be looking back at our paintings and saying, wow, look how different the coastline was. Those trees weren't there. Um, so it, it's a, kind of yeah. an interesting thought that our... Uh, Paintings are kind of like a newspaper right, of the right, times. Right. So you started with three members, and now how many do you have? Uh, 150, maybe 200. Oh, gosh. Kind of varies with the years, but uh, we have a lot of great people involved. That is good. Yeah. So then at your shows, do, you give, do people get awards? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we have usually a juror's choice a beneficiary's choice, a first prize, second prize, uh -huh. third prize, a couple of honorable mentions. And um, for our next show, uh, we're really pleased to have Ruth Ellen Hogue as our juror. She's a well-known local, local artist. Yeah. And for our show uh, in July at the Maritime Museum, we have Marsha Burt. Very nice. Juror. So they're all lined up. Well, you ladies are busy. Mm -hmm. So we have just a little bit of time left. Is there anything else you'd like to tell your, the audience? Hmm. <laughs> uh, we are a great organization. Uh, we have a blast meeting each other at paint outs. And people are um, coming from um, uh, larger areas around California to come join us and be a part of our shows. Okay. There we had an incredible painter join us uh, this last year f to, um, at the Maritime Museum, a show to benefit Heal the Ocean. Uh, oh. And she came down from Portland, Oregon. Golly. Yeah. So people come from all over. They do. They do. Mm -hmm. So not great. just limited to California. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies, thank you so much for the good work you're doing. And that sounds like a lot of fun. I think I'm going to come check out that show in April. Excellent. And thank you for being on our show. Thank sure. you so much. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.